birthday is today, and I want to make him the most awesome horrific card ever! You want to help? Great! Let's do this! Here are the steps for making an awesome horrific card. Step 1. Get a single piece of construction paper. Like this one. It can be any color. But it would be awesome horrific if it was the favorite color of the person you're giving your card to. Step 2. Gather your decorating supplies. Be careful. If you want to use scissors, be sure to ask a grown-up. Mom! Can I use the scissors? Oh, and the glue! I promise not to put any in my hair! Step 3. Find a place to work. The kitchen table can be good, but only if you have permission. And the person you're giving the card to is not around. Dad? Dad? Perfect! Step 4. Fold your piece of paper in half. That makes it a card. Step 5. Decorate like crazy until it's awesome horrific. Be sure to write or have someone write for you the name of the person your card is for. Otherwise, how will they know? Step 6. Clean up. Step 7. You're done. Check out my awesome horrific card for my dad. Wow, I had so much fun. I feel like I could make a lot more cards. But I don't know anyone else who has a birthday coming up. Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna go give my dad his card while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Matthew chapter 5. When Jesus began to teach people about God, sometimes he would tell stories to give examples. He would start talking about one thing to explain another. One day, Jesus was teaching his followers how to make a difference in the world. So, he talked to them about salt. In Matthew 5, 13, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Seems like a pretty weird thing to talk about, right? Until Jesus brought up what salt does. It gives flavor to food that doesn't taste very good or doesn't have that much taste to it at all. If you eat food without salt, you might say, ugh, yuck. But when you salt the food, you might say, yum, it tastes really good. When we go out and make a difference, we do the same for the world. Turn it from yuck to yum. Like when someone falls down and you help them back up, or when someone says something mean and you stick up for them, or say something nice to them. That's like sprinkling salt on something otherwise yucky. Jesus also taught that making a difference was like shining a light. In Matthew 5, 14, Jesus said, we are the light of the world. Jesus didn't mean that we all of a sudden glow in the dark. He meant <laughs> that when we go out into the world doing what Jesus tells us to do, people will see what we do and learn more about God. Jesus talked about salt and light so everyone can know how to go out and change the world. You and I can do that too because Jesus taught us how to make a difference. That Bible story made me hungry for a salty snack, so I got popcorn. <laughs> this popcorn just wouldn't be the same without salt. And butter! Too bad Jesus didn't say we are the butter of the earth. Wait, did he? No! Jesus said we are all the salt and light! But not actually salt and light, but like salt and light. We can make a big difference when we do what God wants us to do. And so, my dad and I found a way that I could make a difference. When I gave my dad his birthday card, he loved it so, so much! I told him how much I loved him and how much fun I had making it. I told him how I wanted to make more. I told him I felt like I could make 50 cards, maybe 100 cards. He said that sounded like a great way to spend his birthday, making cards with his favorite daughter. And I said, Dad, I'm your only daughter. <laughs> but what will we do with all those cards? My dad said he could take them to the children's hospital and give them to kids who are sick. 
He said these cards would make them smile and brighten their day. I think that might be one way to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. What do you think? Callie, are you ready to get started? Yes, yes, yes! Be there in a second. Gotta go make some more awesome, horrific cards. I can't wait to see the faces of those kids at the hospital when we bring them their cards. I'm sure glad Jesus taught us how to make a difference. 